What's happening, y'all? Hey, hey, hey. This is Crystal Taylor, the owner of Fitness is Not a Game, and I welcome you to today's segment of In the Kitchen with Crystal. And I don't know if you can hear my music or not, and I don't mean to come on just dancing, but when good music is on, you can't help it. If you are here with me now, say hey. Let me know where you're watching from. And if you're watching on replay, like most of you will, type replay in the comments. All right. And of course, y'all already know what's up. Drink your water. What's up, bitch? Trying to sing and laugh. I almost choked on the, on the live. Goodness grief. <coughs> it's real TV, y'all. But anywho, so what are we talking about today? As you see, there's no food here today. I'm not cooking. But the purpose of In the Kitchen with Crystal is to simplify meal prep, to simplify healthier eating because dieting is the biggest struggle that most people typically face when it comes to losing weight. Let me know if that's you. If you feel like you struggle with the diet more than anything else, let me know in the comments. Um, but a lot of times it's because people feel like in order to eat healthier meals, they have to be bland. You just have to have, and I always use this example, but you have to uh, have steamed broccoli and your salmon and your baked chicken. And you really know, you can eat a lot of different things, but no matter what you eat, make sure you enjoy it. And how do you do that? You play around with your seasonings, with your spices and your herbs. Y'all know I love a good spice, a good herb. Um, you've seen my collection. I make my own. But this last week, I came back from Zanzibar. And while I was in Zanzibar, we were able to go to a, um, a real deal authentic spice market. Huh? So yeah, I'm going to go to the spice market. Let me see what I can get and bring it back. Because what I know there is that these are real things that they made themselves. These were not manufactured in any type of factory and then put into the bottles and the jars that we buy. So y'all want to see them? We're going to talk about We're going to talk about what we got. So I'm just, just going. And so what today we're going to do is we're going to talk about what I brought back, what, um, how you use some of these and some of the benefits too. All right. Some of them, you know, sesame seeds, they sesame seeds, they for good garnishment. But some of them actually do have some good properties. All right. So the first thing I got, yes, I am the water building. Mm -mm -mm. All right. First thing I brought, uh, what's up, Justin? Uh, no, I'm not going to choke on my water. That's a shame. Wouldn't that be ironic? But this mango tea, y'all, I could not get it. It smells so doggone good. They had one open for us to smell. And so I like this because, you know, I like a good tea. Um, and it's a, I think it's a black tea. So it might have a little bit of, have some caffeine in it. But just the fact that it's naturally ground, I wanted that. So not a lot of, whole bunch of benefits to it. Just smell good. So with that, oh, what I do like about, um, what I do, what I'm hopeful for with this is that when you get flavored teas with it, or even a flavored coffee, you typically don't have to use as much, um, as many sweeteners with it. So you can um, like reduce how many calories you may take in. All right, so that's all that about. Oh, this music ain't playing today. Come on, playlist. Ah, I wish I could play it with y'all, but I don't want to get muted. All right, so look here, next up, and we're going to drink some water, and I'm going to drink it slowly so that I don't choke. How many tea levels we got out there? Let me know if you like tea. My bad, I couldn't bring you none back. Oh, I just look here. My playlist make me happy today. All right. I'm going to go and talk about this because y'all should have known if I didn't bring back any season, I didn't bring back no spices. Can y'all see that? It's a shame. Sorry, y'all, for this extra light. It's the, we got storms today. So it's just so dark. I was like, I need some extra light. But can you see that? That's some cinnamon. Yeah. Now, I can't wait to taste this because my thing is, I want to know because I still have some store-bought cinnamon in the refrigerator. So I can't wait to taste it and try it against um, try it against what we have here. You know what? Look at it. We're going to smell it. See if it smells any different. Look here. Fam. It's a 
another bag in there. Y'all see that? It's another bag in there. And just for me opening this. Oh, yeah, buddy. This is going to be used. <laughs> I can't wait for this, y'all. So what I like about it, one thing about cinnamon, one reason why I use cinnamon so, so much is because it's good for your metabolism. It actually helps boost your metabolism. So, um, oh, yes. Uh, like, I'm just trying to see. Hey, let me read what they say on here to give y'all something. Yeah, I saw, I know. I saw the glare. Um, let's try to see if y'all can see it better. There we go. I think that's a little bit better for y'all. So, I'll read what it says. They... And let me know if this is how you use your cinnamon. Because I usually use my cinnamon in, like, all my baked goods, of course, if I bake. But oatmeal, mainly oatmeal, because I eat with oatmeal all the time. But it says, and I'm, don't y'all judge me, but I got to take my glasses off to read. <laughs> it says, commonly used in rice dishes, tea, yes. Oh, I would also use it in coffee. And it says coffee, cakes, pickle soup. If you've ever had pickle soup, let a sister know meat and fish and then it says also used in incense and pot <laughs> i almost said pot pourries because they separate the word potpourri and I, that's funny because one of my cousins she she thought it was pot pourri and i was like baby that's potpourri so i have never heard of pickle soup but i'm gonna look it up and i'm trying to think if i've ever used it let me know if you've ever used cinnamon on meats or fishes i'm really thinking now but it's something to try. Something to try. You gotta love it. Next up, had to get something else I use frequently. Trying to get that glare. Let me see where we at. Can y'all see that? Paprika. See, I like paprika. Because paprika, I like spicy stuff. But paprika, paprika, paprika is that sweet, smoky um spice that you want to uh add to your foods when you don't just want black pepper it just oh I y'all see y'all see how i waited to share this with y'all i've been back a week ago that's why i wasn't here last week last week this time i was barely off the plane after flying for 23 hours <laughs> traveling for 23 hours fam look here that was the only thing, like, whoo, I had such a great, y'all, I can't tell y'all how much fun I had. That was a bomb. But uh, that travel was something. Oh, you, that's a shame. I keep bringing it over like you can smell it. <laughs> but I want y'all, oh, oh, okay, so you do use it uh, for your meat. Tell us, Justin, let me know what meat you use it on. So I can't wait to use paprika. And I like paprika, too, for, like, talking about devil eggs and stuff like that. All the things. So, y'all hear that thunder? Mm, it's about to go down. Don't y'all judge me because I can't read with them. So, all right. So, they use their advice. It says, paprika seasons fish, stews, crayfish, and lobster. Uh, I don't know what this is. Mary Kane. Teach your sister. Vegetable soup, cauliflower, mushroom, omelet, goat cheese, veal escalope. And goulash. I love how they are very specific, y'all. This this says, look here. Omelets. What omelets? Just all the omelets. Goat cheese. <laughs> Bill Escalope. What is that? I don't know. But it tells us to use it then. Okay. Okay. And um, got his hotmail address on here. And if we want to call him and ask some questions. Yeah. All right. But paprika is also good. Spices in general. And I may as well, I'm gonna be, oh, I think that might be the last thing to read. But um, spices in general, they typically help like the spicier foods your, and your peppers. They are really good with helping to boost your metabolism. So if, I know a lot of people don't like spice. Let me know if you don't like spicy. If you don't like spicy stuff, and we got some spices over here in a minute. Uh, paprika is a good uh, substitute for getting that and, and cinnamon. For getting those spices in your system that'll help boost your metabolism and help with uh some inflammation and things like that all right let me see now i gotta put my glass on the read over here on the computer <laughs> um yeah i love how 
they say what you can use with each of them. So I'm like, that's pretty cool. But, and that was all I was going to get because I love cinnamon and paprika. Now, I'll tell y'all, we're at the spice market. There, I, I, there were just so many different spices. Like, I, I, it was honestly overwhelming to me. And they had all the masalas and all that stuff. But I don't really eat masala like that. So I was like, they don't need me buying and acting like I'm going to use it. Oh, sorry, y'all. That, that rain. So I said, let me just get some things I know I'm use. Mm. Drink up, y'all. Not even even choke. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So right before I was about to close out, I saw this. So can y'all see that? I know they glare today, but I'll tell y'all, it's so dark outside. And it's so dark here in the house. This is, um, it's so cute. It says, give spices. Of Zanzibar. Of Zanzibar. So what's in here, I'm going to tell you, look here. What they say is in here and what in here. Because, okay, got to read it again. <laughs> say lemongrass, hot chili, cumin, yellow curry, coriander, red curry, sesame, cinnamon, and black pepper. So I'm going through, because look here, I've never act like I'm a chef or a professional or anything. I'm just sharing with you all. And I like to share with you all what I'm doing, how I use certain things, some of the things I found, and just share, right? Um, so I could basically guess what a lot of these were, but um, this one right here. So we're going to go through with all of these. At. So this is lemongrass. And I knew that just because um, as part of the trip, when I was in Zanzibar, we went to Stone Town. And Stone Town um was where they would do slave trades it's a slave trade square um which was whew, a whole nother story but um after that we went to this um hotel that also uh, has uh like a traditional tea room so it was basically like a, a yeah we basically had tea high tea um and we had lemongrass tea so with this lemongrass because i've never actually stay on like that any um but they would make the teas out of it and something that they said was um really good the lemongrass was good for was for like regulating your blood sugar now, now let's put this out here as a disclaimer auntie chris ain't giving you no medical advice but i'm giving you some information all right still do your due diligence do your homework and talk to your doctor listen to your doctor but they talked about the natural benefits uh, that came from lemongrass. And one of them was regulating blood sugar. And then I believe also um, with cholesterol as well, something like that. But it was really good. And it's uh, a, a mood booster. So with this lemongrass, more than likely, I will steep this and make it into a tea. Because um, I really couldn't see myself like grinding and eating it for anything else. But make some lemongrass tea. Who, uh, who likes lemongrass? Y'all know me have lemongrass? That's true. Don't judge me. <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. So I said I love lemongrass as an essential oil also. And I can see that. I don't know how to make this into an oil. I don't think there's no way to make this into an oil. So I'm going to make this into a tea. Got it. Cool. Next up. So I'm trying not to hold y'all too long. Next here we got some sesame. So like just some sesame seeds. And it's interesting because I have some sesame seeds um, in my cabinet already. I'm curious to try these. I feel, look, yeah, I'm going to say this. Can I say it? Drink some water and I'm going to say it. Let me know if y'all want me to say it. I feel like everything that I brought back Everything that I got over in Africa is better than anything I would ever get here. Yeah, I said it. It could be the same. It could be worse. But in my head, it's going to be better, God dang it. I'm just saying. So I feel like everything is better in the motherland and from the motherland. I'm just saying. All right. They so busy want to tell you. Y'all heard that? That, that uh, ghetto girl lip smack and tongue smack. But they so busy telling us everything from the motherland is worse. I'm just going to, I'm going to reverse that narrative. Reverse. Just say. All right. Back on hand. <laughs> Next up. So this is the one that got me. Can y'all see that? Does anybody know what that is? Can you see that good? It's this one right here. This third. 
And like I said, excuse me for it being so dark up in here today. And any of my shelves, if my brother's on here, I can't see if he's on here or not. Probably know what it is. And so as I'm looking through this list of what they said it is, because they tell me that there's lemongrass, hot chili, cumin, yellow curry, coriander, red curry, sesame, cinnamon, and black pepper. So I'm like, based on this, excuse me, I'm looking at the list. I'm like, hmm, this has to be coriander. But this has to be cumin, right? No, nah, fam, so I'm just, was telling me, don't just assume. Somebody said time. Mm -hmm. Okay, good guess. So, oh, another quick shout out. Folks, I am team Android all day, every day. My whole family is iPhones. My friends are iPhones. I don't care. I love me some dog on Android. And one thing I love about the Android, that I can take a picture of this and say, hey, cool. What's that? And once I take a picture, Google does our search to say, ta-da, this is what it is. Team intro. So, what I found is, this is anise. And if you, uh, or you could, uh, might see this anise. So, A-N-I-S-E. And the crazy thing is, is just a couple weeks ago, it was natural anise day. So, with that being said, if they said it has like a licorice type of, um, uh, aroma and flavor and it's used in uh, uh, drinks and stuff. But it also said that it was, what else did they say it was good for? Oh, I forgot what it said because I was doing some research on it. So it's like, I want to, you know what, we're going to try one of these. So I'm going to have to get me a, uh, get some containers for all of these things because they can't stay in this little thing right here. So let's see about it. Because when it was nat national anise, I was like, I don't have no anise. What am I going to do with this? Let's see. But from what I found, that's what they said this is. And I kept, I'm so, I'm so uncultured. I kept calling it a niece. So, um, yeah, I see this little itty bitty seed. It's like a little itty bitty thing. Let's see. Hmm. Hold on. I don't know if that's Anna's. This thing might be right. That tastes like, that tastes like cumin. Okay. Wow. And I thought I tried to Google. Y'all, I think those are cumin seeds. Oh, I'm so excited about the experience. I don't know why. I guess because whenever I see cumin, and that tastes like cumin. That does not taste like what they describe anise tasting like, like a licorice y type taste. Yeah, that's cute. Interesting. That's a shame. I feel like I need to Google it right now to see if I'm right. But I really feel like that's what that is. Because like I said, why would they put, say, cumin is on here? Because initially, you know, when you're looking at it, I'm like, that looks like cumin. Then I kept saying, well, if that's cumin, because I had assumed it was cumin, then that has to be coriander. But I kept looking at the coriander seeds, and they didn't look like that. So I was like, that can't be coriander. I never even looked, thought to look up cumin seeds. Ah, yes. Okay. So who's that said that they use ground? Uh, yeah, so a lot of people said they use ground, and it's like, I've seen that in the stores. Um, but I really think that is cumin. Fam, wait a minute. I'm sorry, y'all. Not typically would not. But right now, I am so baffled that I want to make sure this is what it is because I don't want to give out any wrong information. Well, Abby, doggone. Come look here. I had never seen it before. These are cumin seeds. Yay. Okay, cool. Right on. Bam. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. So this is going to be interesting because most of us use cumin when, uh, for like our um, our Mexican dishes. And it's so funny because I actually like it this way. I always tell you, y'all know when I do my cumin dishes, I mean my, my Mexican dishes, whenever I use 
cumin or if I'm like when I'm making my seasoning blends, always laugh at how cumin smells like somebody musty. <laughs> but this one doesn't. But you can taste it though. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm excited. If you can't tell, I'm excited. Simplest things make me excited. Simple, simple, simple. All right. So now I know. Let's say, um, I now I know how to use this when we come back in the kitchen because these will pop back up in the kitchen. We're gonna use. I just want to introduce them before we cook them. But then next up is our um, hot chili pepper. We just talked about that. So imagine like your cayenne. I can't wait to compare this next to my cayenne because I love spices. I mean, give it to me. Mm, make make my taste buds go. Oh, I can't wait to try that. Um, yeah, yellow and red curry. I don't do a lot of curry. I like it when I taste it, when I eat it. And I've probably had more yellow curry than anything, um, than red, I would say. But I'm curious to test them out and try them, you know. So I try anything because that's the whole thing. That's why we're having this conversation now. When it comes to healthier eating, you have to be willing to try different things. You have to be willing to spice up um, your foods. You have to be willing to um, shock your palate because that's what intrigues you to make you want to try it even more as opposed to saying, hey, forget it. I'm just going to go get that burger, a piece of fries. All right. And then, of course, we have coriander. So something I realized uh, what I found today, which was interesting with coriander, coriander has been found to actually have depression, which um, I didn't realize postpartum depression and even some menopause symptoms. So for any of my ladies who may be in, in that phase, you might want to consider using uh, coriander. Coriander is really good. And coriander and cumin can actually like be alternated for the same type of dishes. So your your, your Spanish dishes, um, what else they say? Um, I know definitely Spanish dishes, but other stuff too. There's some fresh black pepper. I love black pepper. I love how these are like spices. Are y'all picking up on a trend? Like the most of these spices. And then the last one is your cinnamon stick. So I don't know what I'm going to put this in. Maybe I use the stir up. Oh, Maybe I'll use it to stir up my mango tea so I don't have to put cinnamon powder in there. What y'all think? So, y'all, it's so much that's going on over here. I know I'm going to use all of these in some type of way. I feel like uh, next week in the kitchen with Crystal, the cinnamon is going to be the first time. Because, I mean, why not? Because we love cinnamon. Um, but, yeah. I just want to share with y'all and probably make some lemongrass too. We'll see. Make some tea. Oh, I can make some lemongrass tea and stir it with my cinnamon stick. Ah, fam. It's just so interesting. Yeah, I was just saying, I got to remember I'm recording. I just want to lean over here and talk to y'all like we had crib. But when I look at this, I'm, I'm grateful for the raw products that they are because it just reminds you that um, in so many places, they're making their own, you know, using so many different forms. It's not everything is just ground up and store bought. They do it themselves and how fresh it is. That's the other thing. When you use fresh ingredients, fresh herbs, fresh spices, the taste and the flavor is the 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 uh um the palate, your palate is just more appreciative of it. So yeah, that's, I just I just had to share. If y'all can't tell. I'm still on the high from coming from Zanzibar, going to the motherland for my first time. It will not be the last time by any means. And I just want to keep sharing all this stuff with y'all. So hope you enjoyed this. Um, uh, look here. Somebody says, spicy enough to make my nose run means it's on point. You ain't told am lie. I want to do like this. And I'm enjoying I want my lips to burn a little bit. I'll be like, whoo, child. I want to have to suck in that air. And then keep on going. There are these, uh, there's a bar. I'm going to say this number that y'all go. It's a bar not far from my house. They have pineapple reaper wings. Sweet and spicy. And they come from reaper peppers. The hot, hot peppers. Love them things. And nobody would want to share them with me. I always try to get share my wings. I'm like, anybody wants to make my head? No, nah, because they think I'm crazy for eating them up. I love it. But I hope y'all enjoyed this. As I said, the majority of these will pop up in some type of way. If not all of them will pop up in the kitchen in future segments. I need to find some um, some good enough storage containers to make sure I keep them fresh. Make sure that you are storing your um, herbs and spices properly. I will tell you, your reds, 
I typically store all the reds in the refrigerator airtight because that's what helps keep the freshness and the color of them too. So if you ever looking like, why my cinnamon? You see red now, it's brown. It's paprika, your cayenne is brown. That's why. I store it properly. All right, y'all. I'm about to get out of here. Have a fantastic day. For anybody who's looking for any um, assistance, you're trying to lose some weight, trying to get that body to bounce back, trying to get back to where you were or get back. Get somewhere you've never been before and just want something different and you don't know how to do it in just a, what, about an hour or so. I am hosting my Body Bounce Back Masterclass. So I'm going to give you three steps for sustainable and long-lasting weight loss so you're not doing that yo-yo and going up and down with these diets. You can join by going to bbbmasterclass.com. You still got time. We still got space. So, And again, that's BBB for Body Bounce Back masterclass.com. So, all right, y'all. Y'all have a good one, and I will see y'all later. Bye, y'all.